Bring us your baffling. Bring us your audacious. We want your sticky notes, sketchbooks, and scribbles. Let's pin them to the wall, kick them around. Kick them around, see what happens. Because we're in the how do I get this startup off the ground business. The taking your business, global business. We're in the problem solving business. 400,000 people. Ready to help you solve problems while they're still called opportunities. opportunities. From figuring it out to getting it done. We're here to help. Well, again, I've said several times how thankful and appreciative we are to, to, the, to the folks here at the famous Idaho Potato Bowl for, for inviting us to this game. We're just thrilled to be here. Uh, it's a credit to these players and, again, uh, uh, and the accomplishments they've done. And so much of it is the journey as much as it is the destination when you go to a bowl. And for us to come, these guys to come from where they've come from to the first bowl game in 10 years, uh, it's a very special, very special for these guys who've worked so hard. Uh, this bowl has just treated us fantastic. They had a great time. In fact, we had people without shirts on tubing in the snow yesterday up, up on the mountain. And uh, we've got snow in Ohio. We just don't have mountains. And they were they were enjoying the the, the festivities. But we've just been treated like like royalty and we appreciate everyone here you know seven or eight years ago my brother brought his Clemson team here and all they could talk about was how well this bowl was run and how wonderful it is and my father did the prayer breakfast three years ago here and talked about how how, uh, how good and gracious the people are and so we just this team we're just we're proud to be here we uh, uh, are thrilled uh, to be here uh, our, our young men uh, will tell you we've come here to win a football game we haven't come here to show uh, we know we've got an, an uh, uh, an excellent uh, an opponent who is uh, much more experienced than this bowl experience. Five straight ga years they've gone to a bowl. That's where we want to be. That's where we, I guess we're, we're, we're kind of where they were when they made that move. This, when that Utah State began that drive, and they've won, I think, their three last bowls. They've been here three of those five bowls. Uh, they, they know their way around. They beat us in bowling, and they beat us in the trivia thing. So we're 0-2 on those. So hopefully we can get one win before we go. Uh, but uh, we look forward to it. We've got fine opponents, uh, 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 an outstanding head coach. And, uh, and I'll just open it up for questions or however y'all would like to do it. But Cody, you guys have been really good against the run this year, and obviously I know you probably have a pretty good part in that, but you, what has enabled you guys to be so good against the, the run seemingly week in and week out? Oh, uh, well, you know, preparation is everything. Our leader, Coach Amato, uh, he stresses that all the time, every day. You know, you got guys like Jatavis Brown and Dylan Evans who call the rest of the team together to uh, get together uh, and do film study. So, I mean, preparation, you know what your opponent's going to do before they come out in the huddle. And, uh, yeah. For Jeff Tavis and Cody, um, I think this is Coach Amato's 35th bowl. Has he told you guys any stories? Oh, you know, Coach Amato. That's, that's, that's an ancient guy there. So, uh, <laughs> you know, he, he has a lot of experience in this uh, category. You know, he tells us all about us. And he actually, we wanted to see his, uh, I asked him to send me a picture of his uh, range. You know, his house is back in Raleigh. And his wife or his daughter, one of them, sent us a picture of all his rings, and I just couldn't believe it. You know, you got enough rings to fill your hands and toes. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's something special. And, you know, we just want to touch one of them. Did you uh, I would agree with Cody, man. He's he's been around the game a long time, and he he knows how to prepare for ball games, what it takes to win a ball game. So he's been preaching that uh, to win one, we got to prepare like we've been preparing the whole season, and not lose focus on what our goal is, and that's to win the game ultimately. I just wanted to ask you what it's like to coach a guy like Cody because every time I've seen him, he's always had some little quip or something like that. And obviously, he's in different situations. He seems like the kind of guy that you'd probably be fun to coach. You know, it's a, it's a good question because over the years, I've coached so many guys that were outstanding athletes. They're good because they're good. They're good because they're blessed with talent. I don't know if they even like football that much, some of them. They just were so blessed with talent. It's what they're good at. Every day we go to practice, Cody has fun. 
He has fun. He's spirited. It's enjoyable to be around him and, and, and coach him. And that, and that uh, uh, the other players catch that. It, it's caught by the, you know, you know, leadership has to be caught by, has to be, somebody has to follow. Somebody has to be a good leader. But it's that, it's that contagious, fun personality. Uh, and I think he enjoys football, uh, makes it fun, but plays hard. This will be, the, when he plays tomorrow, the 49th straight uh, starting game for him has never been done before at Akron. That's huge for us. And, uh, uh, and so it's not just play, but we try to. He, we, he tends to make practice a little bit of play for us, uh, uh, in that it's fun. And uh, um, so that's the one thing that uh, we'll miss. We'll have leaders step up in the future. We'll have good players step up in the future. But it's hard to find those personalities that just, just they, they, they just, they kind of are a statement about the team, and they kind of become something that you. Uh, I think when these guys are older and they come back, they'll, they'll, they'll think about the, the fun times. The fun things that Cody's done as much as the good play that he's had. Austin Tobinson and Connor just talked about Utah State defense. Uh, you know, what you see about the offense, and then Connor talk about Utah State's defense and what you see from them. Offensively, uh, Utah State, they're a good offense. You know, they got a guy, they got the guy, Chucky Keaton. He's their guy. He's been better with a lot of injuries this year, but he's their guy. We know in order for us to win this game, we had to keep him under control. As far as the um, receivers and, all, and the um, running backs, they are good, too. They, uh, they rely heavily on Chucky Keaton to get the game going. So a big part of our game plan is to, to hold him under control. As far as their defense goes, their defense is very good, uh, especially up front and the linebackers. Uh, they play hard every play, and um, they use their hands very well, and they're athletic, and they swarm to the ball, so uh, look forward to playing against their defense. And Coach, uh, your defense, you know, how, how can you assess how they've done? Certainly there's been some pretty good moments for, for that group. What's the thing that's maybe impressed you the most? Well, I mean, our defense, we, we, we made a decision that we were going to build our season around our defense and try to build an offense that ran the ball and controlled the clock a little bit more. Uh, the, the Midwest, where we come from, probably like this, by, the, by November, where championships are won or bowl games are made, it's going to be snowing or raining very cold, and it's going to come sideways. And you better be able to run the football and play defense. And, and I learned that. We, we threw it almost every down when I first came to create excitement at Akron when we had to make some changes. Connor Hunley is very critical to that because we weren't going to be uh, the team we needed to be uh, until we, we made those changes and ran the ball based on our defense. And so these guys up here up front, our front seven is the strength of our defense. Our linebackers and our front four uh, First in the conference in rushing, first in the conference all in, in total law defense, third in the nation in rush defense. Because Chuck Amato, uh, it, you know, I, I, I turned my defense over to Chuck Amato. You know, he was my dad's associate head coach for 18 years, the head coach at, at uh, NC State for six. One or two of those years, he had number one defense in the nation. Always understands, I think, defense starts with stopping the run. Even in today's game of passing the football, you still want people to pass in situations that they don't want to pass in second long or third and long or those situations. And so our front four, front seven have been the, the key. We had, a, we had a very young secondary, but they came through and they've been a very big part of our defense, what they've been able to accomplish and how they've played. But we knew the strength would be linebackers, front, front four, front three uh, linebackers, and they've come through for us completely. Uh, they played so well. Just an example, our last ball game, we were up 14 to nothing at halftime. And, uh, thanks to our defense holding the other team to a shutout. And then our running game came back, and we had the ball for 12 and a half minutes, the third quarter on a drive, ended up with a field goal. They fumbled the kickoff. We had it all the way to 12 and a half minutes left in the game before their other offense saw the ball. So to add the running game that Connor has think has been, we rushed for over 200 yards. I think every game we won all the last four games, and our defense would get us in a position where uh, they would keep the other team down low. That's just been an important part of, of what we are now, starting with our defense. I was to ask a specific guy, uh, Jatavis and Cody, if you can just talk about kind of the dark days at the beginning and what, what this has done to, you now you're enjoying the bowl experience and just how special has it been just when you think about the, how far it's been. 
Father, man, it's unbelievable right now the experience we've been going through these past couple of days. And at first, at the beginning of my college career, things weren't so good. You know, we went one and eleven the first year, then five and seven, then five and seven again. So I mean, it was it was tough for us, but we always believed in each other. We had strong commitment, belief, and this year answered the bell, and we finally answered the bell. And we believed in each other. We kept fighting, and finally we're here at a bowl game, looking forward to win. Just to piggyback off of what uh, Jatavis said, you know, uh, it was our days in the beginning, and, you know, we continue to push forward and believe in one another. You know, uh, offense believed in the defense, defense believed in the offense, and we came together, and now we're here. So it's a special thing for us. How much this means to the university and just the success of you guys in the soccer team and how it's kind of lifted up a, so it was a tough summer? Uh, I think it's big for the university. I know uh, last night we were talking about how big football is to can be to the university and how a university can rally around the football team. And we talked about it beginning this year with some issues with our budget at our university and we said in the end of the year if we do something special our university can sort of rally around us and uh, I think uh, we did a good job with the season working hard towards this goal and as a team we came together and we, uh, we, I think we've done it. For sure, for sure definitely. Uh, you know you feel the love and support from the staff and your other teams on campus and they also around the city. Like y'all said, I'm a, a local guy, so I get to hear a lot more than what our guys here would hear. And you know, we get a lot more respect and you know, we just want to continue that on and just create this program to be a top program. Okay, hey, that's what I was gonna ask you as a guy who's from Akron when you decided to go to school at your hometown school. Do you remember some of the things people said to you? Because, I mean, it was 1 and 11 the year before you started playing. Do you remember some of the things you heard at the time? Uh, well, you know, I got a lot of scrutiny from, you know, I, I had other schools that were looking at me, and I, I told myself I wasn't going big time. I was going to go nowhere but Akron, especially if I was going in the MAC, because that is my city, and I love my city. So, uh... You know, things, you know, guys would say stuff like, uh, you know, Akron is going nowhere, nowhere fast. Akron doesn't recruit. That was the biggest thing. Akron doesn't recruit the Akron area, which now we got Coach Bowden. You know, I don't know how many guys we got on the team that's from Akron, but there's plenty now. I mean, there's multiple starters, backups, walk-ons, so that's the biggest thing. Who was the star of the Tubin thing? Anybody have an answer for that? Cowritz. That's got to be Cowritz. Cowritz. He's crazy. Yes. Kyle Ritz is a, is a Richard freshman lineman. He's an engineering major. One of the, one of the brightest guys on our team, but knucklehead, looked like a knucklehead on the, on the ski slope, which I love it because it, yeah. you like to see those guys that are excellent student athletes like he is. Who let us, and I, when you say let his hair down, his hair is long and, and, uh, uh, and he lets his hair down. So that's, that's, it's great. I didn't know that Kyle was the one. I was, I was hiding in the, in, the, in, the, in the ski lodge at the time. <laughs> Kind of, you mentioned about Utah State's defense a little bit, and I know uh, maybe in the Patriots they have done very well, but you also have an offense that you know, tries to limit, limit those. What, 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 what's a, a key for you guys to, against that defense tomorrow? Uh, I think a lot of that has to do with what we've been doing all year. Um, you know, we've had a commitment to running the football all year, and which has helped you know reduce our turnovers. And we've also made a commitment to reduce our turnovers all year. Uh, at the beginning of the year, you know, we were, we had to do some kind of punishment if we had a turnover in practice, whether it was up downs or extra running. And uh, I think it shows off. It's showed throughout the season. I have to ask, I mean, when you got the, the board there, if you, you, you made a crack about growing up in Akron and stuff, so maybe you know, palm trees would be nice this time of year, but look outside, it's, it's more weather that you, you 
used to. Have you still enjoyed it though? Or? Oh my gosh! Oh, yeah. I mean, how could you not be grateful? The years we've been through, you know. And, I mean, to go Florida guys from Florida. That's the big. That's one of the funniest things to see guys like Jaja from Florida. You know, that's never even seen snow or been sledding, and then they go down that hill. And it's, and it's just, and then to see them freezing out there, because you know they come out there in sneakers and uh, a windbreaker and think they're going to be okay. So, man, I have so much fun, you know, doing this and being with my teammates and just, and I, the city of Idaho, and not the city of Idaho, but the city of Boise is actually pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Hey, Cody, do you notice a difference in the offensive huddle when Cody comes in on offense? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's definitely might get a little bigger with Cody in there, but, uh, yeah, in, you know, in practice when he comes in, he's always smiling or dancing or something, getting us excited about playing football. And, uh, when he comes in the huddle, you know, we, we're very confident in him that he's going to get the job done, that we're really going to get that short yardage play, that first down, and that touchdown, and, uh, we're definitely very confident with him in the huddle. Anything else? All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much.